What is Kusama KSM and an honest price prediction? What's going on guys, Randy here with another daily crypto video. If you guys like daily crypto content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. So let's get into the, some Kusama. What is it? And uh, I'm going to get into a price prediction at the end and show you some historical charts on uh, some past coins that are maybe kind of similar to Kusama and their circulating supply. So let's get into what Kusama is. So Kusama, it's part of the Polkadot ecosystem. It's similar to Polkadot actually, but what's the what's the ma major difference between these two? So I'm over here at Polkadot Wiki. Okay, and the main difference here between Polkadot and Kusama, although they share many parts of their code, Polkadot and Kusama are independent, standalone networks with different priorities. Kusama is wild and fast, great for bold experimentation and early stage deployment, whereas Polkadot is more conservative, prioritizing stability and dependability. So what do the two networks have in common? Kusama was released as an early version of the same code to be used in Polkadot which means they share the same underlying architecture, a multi-chain, heterogeneously sharded design based on nominated proof of stake. Both networks also share key innovative like on-chain governance, hot swappable runtimes for, for forkless on on-chain on upgrades, and cross-chain message passing for interoperability. So essentially, Polkadot and Kusama are the same, Kusama is just where Polkadot projects get, uh, get tested before they go live on Polkadot. So the benefits of Polkadot are high stability, high security, more conservative governance and upgrades, higher validator rewards, and the use cases, of course, are enterprise in B2B applications, financial applications, high-value applications requiring bank-like security, stability and robustness, upgrade path for early stage applications. Whereas Kusama, there's a low barrier to entry for parachain deployment, low bond requirements for validators and parachains, low slashing penalties, fast iteration, latest technology. So this is good for early stage startup networks, experimentation on new ideas, applications that don't yet require bank-like security and robustness, pre-production environment for polka dots. So Kusama and Polkadot, again, they're just kind of like run hand in hand. They work very closely together. And of course, one of the big key differences is Kusama is, is fast. It's very fast. So Kusama has modified governance parameters that allow for faster upgrades. Kusama is up to four times faster than Polkadot with seven days for token holders to vote on referendums followed by an enactment period of eight days, after which the referendum will be enacted on the chain. Okay, so use cases for, for Polkadot. Polkadot is, an all, is and always will be the primary network for the deployment of enterprise-level applications and those that entail high-value transactions requiring bank-level security and stability. The initial use case for Kusama is a pre-production environment, a canary network. Building on Kusama first allows teams to test things out in live, fully decentralized, and community-controlled network with the real world conditions and lower stakes in the event of problems or bugs than on Polkadot. Some teams will decide just to stay on Kusama, which is likely to be the place where we see some exciting experimentation with new technologies going forward. So that's very interesting to see that not every project is going to move away from Kusama to Polkadot, and some will actually stay on Kusama. So ultimately, Kusama and Polkadot will live on an independent, standalone networks with their own communities, their own governance, and their own complementary use cases, though they will continue to maintain a close relationship with many teams likely deploying applications to both networks. In the future, we're also likely to see Kusama bridge to Polkadot for cross-network interoperability. Web3 Foundation remains committed to both networks going forward, providing crucial support and guidance to teams building for the ecosystem. So let's take a look at the Kusama website, which is actually pretty awesome, I think. Real cool website. Okay, and if we scroll down, 
this it's so Kusama, it says the scalable multi-chain network for radical innovation. And it's real, real basic. The whole idea of Kusama is very basic, but it's also very important to the Polkadot ecosystem. So unprecedented interoperability and scalability for blockchain developers who want to quickly push the limits of what's possible. Built using Substrate with nearly the same code base in industry-leading multi-chain infrastructure as Kusama's cousin, Polkadot. Okay, and the origin of Kusama, the relationship between society and technology has, deter has deteriorated to the point where large entities routinely stretch and overstep their authority. Kusama is a network built as a risk-taking, fast-moving canary in the coal mine for its cousin Polkadot. It's a living platform built for change agents to take back control, spark innovation, and disrupt the status quo. So what's pretty cool up here, Kusama... And it's going to say, expect chaos. I like that. Expect chaos. So that's Kusama. Let, let's go over to coin market cap right now and take a look at Kusama. So Kusama right now is 38 on coin market cap at about $330. It's went up since the time I kind of looked at the prices. It's, it's already went up $5, but we'll base it off $325. And circulating supply is only eight, about 8.5 million circulating supply tokens and a market cap of 2,719,000,000, okay? And then its cousin, Polkadot here, of course, is in the top 10. Will Kusama ever make it to the top 10? Who knows? I mean, I think it could certainly make it into the top 15, top 20 of projects. But I want to take a look at some historical charts to kind of show you what we're looking at here. And this is a snapshot of some coins back in January 2018, which was getting ready to wind down in the bull run. This is kind of at the peak of the bull run, kind of getting ready to wind down. But I could, but you can see here at number 11, Dash, okay, if obviously Kusama wasn't even a thing back in 2018, but Dash is a coin that has 7,804,000 7, circulating supply, which is very similar to polka dot of course it's top 11 market cap was at 10 billion but look at this coin was at 1285 dollars I'm, I'm showing this comparison because this is a very similar coin to kusama based on circulating supply now of course back in 2018 this is a completely different market but i'm just showing you that kusama at 325 dollars i think can easily hit the 1000 dollar range similar to what dash did even though it's a top 11 coin if we're at the start of this bull run here, it could easily move up into this range as far as market cap moving forward. You know, let's say three, four, five months down the road, maybe longer. So let me let me show you what we're looking here. If we just get a 5x, we're talking a coin that's going to be worth $1,625. That's just a 5x. If we get a 10x, we're talking $3,250 at the current level of about $325 per Kusama. And if we go 20x, we're talking $6,500. It's hard to believe we'd hit a 20x, you know, but you never know. We could hit this 20x mark depending on how far this this bull market goes and, uh, you know, where it takes us. I'm, I'm bullish on the market, but I'm kind of leaning toward, at the very minimum, a 5x. And you're talking at $1,625 Kusama. I think 10 is the very, very top. It's hard to think. Kusama hitting three three thousand two hundred fifty after seeing it, you know, for for thirty bucks, for twenty bucks, for fifteen dollars, less than six months ago. But this is very realistic to see a three thousand two hundred fifty dollar Kusama at the very blow off top of of this bull market. But I think at the very minimum we're gonna see a, a sixteen hundred dollar Kusama. That's only a five x from this current mark, you know, and that's not even five x from where we're at now. With KSM, let's see, let's take a look at Kusama again. We're only at a, a, a $2 billion market cap. 5x from there, I think, is very attainable. Maybe even a 10x at blow off top. How would you like that? A $3,250 Kusama. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think we're going to hit this uh, $3,250 mark? Do you think it'll get up to $6,500? Or are you playing it safe and still looking at the $1,625? 5x Kusama Gainer, which would be a hell of a gain, even if you got in right now at $330, $325.
for 1k sm all right guys uh that's all i have for you today if you guys like daily crypto content be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and also if you need a free website let me know i design websites for free all you have to do is cover hosting and uh that's that's it i'll leave a link down in the comments talk to you guys tomorrow